Hi, welcome back. This is our fourth video and this is going to be a little quicker um, for this one. I just want to show you how you're going to take our sample homepage that we built in the last, um, the last video and I'm going to show you how to take those buttons and just to quickly link them to either an external site such as Starfall, Mayan, um, Boom Cards, Nat Geo, all those things, that would be an external site where they are going to be opened up in a new window. So you will have to teach the kids how to get from one window tab to another if you're linking external sites. Um, but those sites or how to link your homepage to your coursework, whether it be pages that you've created or modules that you have created. Okay, and one really important thing that I completely forgot to show you in the last one was after you finish your home page, you have to go up to this little button that says publish and publish it. If you do not do that step, when the kids log on, they will not see it. So anything that you make that you want the kids to see, make sure that it is published. If one of my buttons links to a course page, a quiz that I made or something like that, and I don't publish that, I will be able to see it. And from my end, I will be able to navigate to it, but um, the students will not. So my suggestion is before you put anything up live for your students to interact with, go on to student view from that home page click on student view and go through every one of your links just to make sure that everything works and everything is published. If the link is not working or it says access denied or it's been turned off for this course, that's most likely because you did not publish it or that page is in a module that you did not publish yet. So everything that you want the kids to access needs to be published at the top. Okay, so now that we have our home page, we might want to do some links. So Monday, we're just going to say, for example, Monday, I want my kids to go to, I don't know, Starfall, which if I'm using this for e-learning, that probably would not be what I'm linking for Monday's work, but just as a quick example for you, um, since we did a day today, um, and I don't have a Monday page made yet, so I'm going to show you on Monday how to link this to Starfall. So um, if they click on it, that's exactly where they're going to go. All right, so I'm going to click on my image, okay? And you're going to see that little blue box around it with those little corners on there. Um, and it'll say image options. Make sure that you're clicked on the right one, because if you click on the wrong one, it's going to link the wrong one, okay? Now you're going to go all the way over here past our media, past our um, image upload. You're going to go to links. It's going to give you a drop down menu and you choose either external link or course links. If you're linking it to a page or a quiz or something that you made in Canvas for them to go to, you're going to go to course link. If it's an external site like Starfall, I'm going to click external link. Okay, and I'm going to either copy and paste it or I'm going to type it in. I've already added this link to something on my homepage, so it's already here. So I'm going to click on starfall.com, click done. All right, and I'm going to go down, make sure I save it. Okay, so now when my kids go on here, they can click on Monday, and you see it opened a new tab that's loading, and it's going right to Starfall, okay? And to get back to there, the kids will have to close that tab and it's still there. OK, now um, that's a way to link to an external site. And let me show you how to unlink something. If you don't want that link anymore, you want to link something else. It's a really simple process to make this box bigger. I'm going to pull that down and it's going to make it a little bit bigger for me. OK, here's where I linked Starfall. If I do not want that anymore, I can go to link options and it's going to bring up over here. I can delete it from here and click done, um, but sometimes that got a little wonky for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it instead and I'm going to go back up to that link. Now it's already got a link on there, so now I want to either edit the link to change it or if I want to remove it completely, I'm going to click on remove link. 
and then click save at the bottom and it will be gone. Okay. Um, but I want to show you now how to do a course link. Okay. Um, I'm going to click on calendar because I do have a calendar made up just in case I am doing e-learning. I have a little calendar for August that I would link there. Now, right now it just says image options because there is nothing linked to it. I can tell that way. If I click here and go over to the link, this time I'm going to link it to a page that I made on Canvas. And I'm planning for my kindergartners not to make modules, um, but to make individual pages that are just linked on the homepage just to make it easier for them. That's what I'm doing. Other people do modules for kindergarten that I've seen online, but that's just how my brain is working right now. So um, for course links, it's going to bring up all the pages, the assignments, the quizzes, anything that I have already made in Canvas are going to come up on this list. Now, if you haven't made any pages or assignments, there's going to be nothing in your drop down menus. Okay, so I'm going to click on pages and I'm going to go to calendar August assignments because that's the page that I made. All right, for an August calendar. Now, when I hover over it, it says image options and link options. So that's how I know something is linked there. I'm going to save. Okay. Now, when I go to my home page and they click on calendar, instead of going to an external site, it's going to go to my internal page that I made for August. Okay, and this is where I was thinking if I am doing e-learning, this is where all their coursework, so on the 25th, whatever their assignment was, I'm going to link it not only to my homepage, but also to this calendar. That way, if they get behind, they can come here and they can click on it. Or if they want to get ahead and I don't have the next week loaded on yet, but I do have it attached to my calendar, they can go and take a look ahead. Okay, um, so... And August, this was already published, so I don't need to republish that. Remember, if I did not publish this, it's going to be grayed out. That means that even though I linked it, my students cannot get there. It's going to come up with an error message for them if I did not publish it for them to use. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my pages. And the kids would just have their home button that they could go back to but my home button is linked to my actual, not the sample one, okay? So I'm gonna go down to our sample homepage that we were working on. Okay, and basically that's what you're going to do for each and every one of them. If you want to link a quiz that you've made, you do the same thing. You're gonna click on it in the edit mode, edit at the top, you're going to click on whatever button or whatever picture you have on your homepage that you want to link. I can even link my banner if I want. I can insert pictures of anything on here. If I want to insert pictures of a cover of a book that's going to lead to a read aloud, I can link that on any page that I want to. So basically that's how you do external and course links. Okay, and the next video, I'm going to show you how to build a page and I'm going to build a sample page. I think I'm gonna do maybe sight words um, for my kindergartners and show you the types of things that you can put on your page, the difference between linking things and embedding things and how that looks when they pull it up, a linked, um, a linked site and an embedded site, okay? Um, or an embedded video and a linked video, I'm sorry. Um, and what the pros and cons of each is. And um, also show you how to put PDFs that parents can download and print um, from Canvas um, and just all different things that we can do with our, um, our pages. And those pages, then if you're doing modules, you use those pages and put them in your module. Okay, so either way, hopefully it'll be helpful. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you next time for how to build a page. Bye-bye.